I say praise it. Y'all was sure quiet back there. I thought this was Holy Church. Praise the Lord. Honey, I had 92 colored people here one day. I thought this choir was going to go off top of this building. I ain't never seen anything like it in my life. They got the tune and they know how to carry it. And we just sat down and got so quiet. You, now you get somebody clapping their hand. Don't make me do that. Come on. The Bible said clap your hands like a joyful noise. It didn't say that. I remember years ago when I got saved, I didn't know nothing about it. All I could do was clap my hands. I, I didn't know I back, back, but we had them old pews, you know. They had cracked in them. You sit down and peach, you might shout at them once in a while before you got peach. But anyway, but the old floor, you could pack your feet, boy, and go all over that building. Now we got this little carpet, and we all go to sleep. Look on somebody and say, are you sleeping? <laughs> Don't wake up tonight because we got Steve. Steve here. <laughs> Woo! Somebody said, Blaze, come on, stay close. Glory. Man, that looks the best I've ever seen. Do it again. All right. That wasn't too good either, was Steve? <laughs> Sometimes when you get down on the sax, and I know it's used in a lot of uh, music that might kind of make people feel a little uncomfortable when you hear it like that in church, but you know, bluegrass is country music. And so I was talking to the pastor here about sometimes we have our little prejudices, you know, if it sounds bluegrass to country, we don't mind it, but if it's got a jazz or a night sound, then we're like, oh, man. But, you know, you think about, let's, uh, you know, all that music can be used for the Lord. And it's used for God. It, it, that's yeah. just what, that's the way God wired me. That's the, that's the way it is. And, yes, and uh, I love to play. I love to play. If you ain't figured that out by now, you'll get it sooner or later. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I've been playing most, most of my life since I was 12. And uh, I would I would love just to play for the Lord. That's Amen. Right. I'd rather play for Him. Right. And I have played some other stuff, but I tell you what, it just don't give the same effect as playing for the Lord. That's Amen. Right. Well, I'd like to read in your hearing tonight from the book of John, chapter number 4. And uh, I'd like to talk with us just a little bit. Amen. John chapter number 4, <clears throat> and the Bible said in verse 6, very familiar scripture, now Jacob's well was there, Jesus therefore being weary with his journey sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour, there cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, if thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. And whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof of himself and his children and his cattle? And Jesus answered and 
and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give, un give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Amen. I want to preach just a little while, if the Lord would help me tonight, on this thought. Amen. Uh, do you miss the well? Amen. Do you miss the well? Have you been to the well lately? If I could just ask you, Amen. When's the last time that God has set your heart aflame? Amen. And you know, I think a lot of times because of our carnalness and the things we engage in through the day, a lot of times that seems to cause us to feel like we're so far away that it's a lot of trouble to get back in touch with God, if you will. Amen. And uh, tonight, amen, I wonder, do you miss the well? Amen. And, uh, do you remember a time when you got saved, how you felt? Amen. When you looked up, and I'm just going by my own experience, amen, and, and uh, you just had to holler out loud, amen, and uh, you had to just look up and cry and just holler out, thank you, Jesus, amen, amen. and you realized what you was missing. You didn't realize what the gift of salvation, how it was going to feel when it come into your heart. You didn't realize the freedom you were going to feel when you got saved until you got saved. Amen. Amen. Come on. Nobody could ever have told me, amen, that the gift and the giver would make such a difference in my life. Amen. Amen. Come to her mind. 
Amen. I want to tell you, amen. You might have to ask the Lord to help you. 
folks' homes. Some of them still lived in old, like, uh, look like log cabin places. I remember one night or one morning, way before daylight, me and my grandpa got up, jumped in, and old, I don't remember, it was like a early 60 models old Chevrolet pickup or something. Amen. Had the big old round hood on it, see? Amen. I remember we got in that and the smell of that old interior in there. You know, that old car. Amen. It was green looking. Amen. For daylight, he fired that thing up. And most of you might not know what this was, but it had a three-speed on the column. Yeah. Amen. I missed the sound of that spring on the clutch when he pressed it. And he pulled that thing down in low gear and it grind just a little bit. Amen. The whine of it. I thought about we went way on down in the wing, Alabama. We got there at the break of day. Amen. I got there where Uncle, Uncle Timmons and Aunt Chloe May, man, in that old wooden house, they had eggs. They had bacon. Man, it was cold outside. Amen. We were going to go deer hunting. I remember all oh, they had in there. I remember the heat from the fireplace. Amen. I remember them feeding me that morning. Oh, listen. Man, I miss them days. I miss it. It'll never be like that again in this life. Amen. God's giving you what he's giving you for right now. You better enjoy it now. If you're going to do something for the Lord, you better do it now. But I promise tomorrow. Hallelujah. How much time will go by before you decide to do what God's called you to do? How much time will go by? Amen. Before you go back to the well. Amen. Yeah. Woo! Come on, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't know how old this woman was, but she decided now's the time. Uh -huh. Yeah, the invitation had been given. Yeah. Jesus said, if you only knew, whew, amen, who the giver is. Yeah. If you only knew what I got to give. I want to tell you something right here. If you only knew the blessing the Lord has for you, if you only knew what he had to give you right now, right. amen. Oh, I believe you make your way to that well. Amen. It ain't going to be much longer. I'm going to come to a close. Amen. But I want you to know tonight, oh, that woman said, Lord, can I have, can I have, oh, this living water, can I have some of this? The Lord did not deny her, and the Lord won't deny you, amen. Woo! Hallelujah. A lot of times we're afraid, amen, because of our guilt. A lot of times we're afraid, amen, or, or don't do it. Oh, because we feel like we're unworthy. I remember a woman, a car pregnant one time, was giving me an adjustment on my back and neck. And she said to me, we were talking about the mercies of the Lord. And she said, amen, I'm trying to study, amen, about how not to feel unworthy of the blessings of the Lord. I rose up off that little bed. I said, let me tell you something. You will never feel worthy of the blessings of the Lord. But you just got to accept them. They are a gift. And you must receive them as a gift. Amen. You'll never be worthy. Wait a minute. Woo! Hallelujah. what he did on the cross. Amen. That's why he done it. Oh, 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 I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. 
trying to get in between me and my life. Amen. I ain't got to say nothing else. Amen. I remember one time I had a friend in Alabama. And we had been married not long. And he kept coming up and hugging her neck. And finally, I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> hey, man, that's my life. Right. Hey, man. Now, I don't know how a lot of men feel. Well, I do I understand how a lot of men feel. Hey, man. But I want to tell you something. Tonight, hey man, I, I, I'm going to tell you I love my wife. I do. Hey man, and I probably don't love her good enough, but I'm trying. You believe that, don't you? I tried. Hey man, I want to tell you, you can tell where people's hearts at. They how they really feel. Hey man, about the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey man. Some want just enough, amen, so they can say I'm a Christian. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I don't want just enough, amen. Woo. I like my cup to overflow. I like my cup to overflow.
want you to know you can take everything that you got hid in your heart. Amen. Everything that's covered up right now. Amen. You can come to him. Amen. Amen. But how do I got to do? How do I got to be? Right after I get saved, sometimes we got this thing in our mind. How we're going to have to do and be. You can't worry about that. No. Let it happen on its own. Right. Let it happen on its own. Let it happen on its own. You hear me? It's the Lord, amen, that produces the actions in my life, not me. And it'll be the Lord that'll produce the actions in you, amen. No, you can't let nobody tell you, well, you didn't get nothing. If you know you did, amen, it doesn't matter what me and other people may say right then. Right. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, there will be a renewing, a new creature in Christ. I'm going to tell you, amen, that you will learn along the way and you will grow to be what Christ would have you to be. Tonight, I preach to you what I feel like the Lord's laid on my heart. Coming to a close here. Do you miss the well? Do you miss the well? Do you even miss it? Do you even think about it? Amen. Tonight, so many things, simple things, has sifted a lot of God's people apart. Amen. People are living under the, uh, the power of fear. Amen. And it's not that I don't take this thing lightly. I mean, I do. I, I take it seriously. Excuse me. Take it seriously. Amen. And I want you to know right here. Amen. Don't let something so simple. Amen. So simple. Deceive you and drive you away. Some people are just looking for a way to leave the church right. and not have to be bothered with it anymore. Is that right. the way you are tonight? Yes, sir. Is that the way you are tonight? Amen. Man, I want to live. I want to come to the house of God. Man, I want to worship the Lord. Right. I want to play my saxophone for him. Ain't that all right? right. Amen. I want to I want to preach his word. I want to scatter it like seed. Amen. I want to reach somebody. Amen. Tonight, do you want to serve the Lord? Do you miss the well? How about it tonight? Amen. I, I'm not accustomed to just how y'all do things here. Amen. But I don't want you to, everybody in the house that's able to, to stand just for a second here. Amen. 